In every society, life is in stages and men are in sizes. Men come and go, only remembered by their footprints in the sands of time. Yet, some others etch their names in gold, treasured in the hearts of people, not just for their personal accomplishments and enviable wealth, but also how much they sacrifice their resources to alleviate the plight of people and catalyze the creation and experience of a better life for people. The community of Umanuka Otolo Inewi in Anambra State proudly boasts one of such rarefied gems, Senator Dr. Efanyuba LLB. From a humble background and family birth to Mr. and Mrs. Alfonso Uba, on the 3rd of September 1971, Senator Ifai Uba sprang out rather inspired and motivated not just to rewrite the history of his family heritage but the life experiences and future of people. In pursuit of his mammoth dreams, Senator Oba gave up his early education under his parents and ventured into a trade to learn the fundamental ropes which served as a springboard to his smart run and fast building of his diverse industries of strategic value and and importance to humanity to enviable heights worthy of emulation today. You fill my heart With so much peace and joy You're amazing You make my life feel brand new Dr. Ifayoba is remarkably an uncommon, selfless, and sacrificial philanthropist to the genuinely needy, coming to terms with a deep understanding that the true worth of his and any man's essence is not just in his possession, but the smiles he puts on people's faces who share in his possession. <laughs> In 
educational philosophers posit that the passport to a child's future is education, himself also learning firsthand the bitter lessons from his inability to finance his early education, Dr. Uba is now a leading light in commitment to human capacity development, industry, promotion and sponsorship of youth sports, entrepreneurship and education beyond Anambra State towards the brighter future. With his monumental investment in sports and as a proprietor of Ifanyu Uba FC, he champions football development, especially grassroots talent grooming beyond Anambra State to the fringes of Africa. We started from showcasing Nigeria, which we must be proud of, by uh, bringing in Brazilians to a community like here in Newi. Uh, it shows that Nigeria is safe. It shows that also Brazilians can come and play football, they play in our local league, so it is promoting Nigerian football. Patrick Ifayuba is a phenomenally remarkable ally and partner in the building and promotion of Christendom in Anambra State. When I think upon your goodness and your faithful message To Senator Dr. Patrick Ifayuba, it is innate to not just bear people's burdens but lead them as a pathfinder towards the aspirations by which from his very young age he has been touching lives in many ways from his immediate to remote relationships. It has been going up and down since morning, like imagining coming to my world, asking about my patient's folder, despite the amount, I was so speechless. I, I, all I have to say is, may God replenish his pocket in Jesus' name. In fact, I'm, I'm, I'm overexcited, I'm overwhelmed. Okay. Okay. As he Pauli mentioned that he will take care of some facilities here, um, infrastructures. Any wonder, in 2013, Anambrarians prevailed on him to take a shot at governance of Anambra State under the Labour Party to enable him effect far-reaching needed and yearned transformation. Though he did not get the mandate then, his unusually classical political influence, affluence and sagacity in Anambra politics endeared him to ex-president Goodluck Ibele Jonathan who commissioned him to pilot the GEJ 2014-2015 re-election bid. True to type, Dr. Ifayoba, like the field marshal he is, marshaled out a class 
act political campaign in an excellent manner never seen and may never be seen in this country. In 2017, Senator Ifayoba attempted again to actualize the political aspirations of well-meaning Anambraians on the auspices of the Anambra PDP governorship ticket but was surreptitiously denied again. In the circumstance, Abga Anambra State smartly and swiftly came to engage his daily needed humongous resources and wherewithal towards the party's 2017 political quest. In sync with his Midas touch, the outcome of that Anambra governorship election saw Abga won in 21 out of 21 LGAs for the first time in the history of Anambra State. Though he was maliciously denied the senatorial ticket again as originally bargained by the party's key leadership in their attempt at winning him into Abga at God's own timing in 2018, he secured the Anambra South senatorial ticket under the platform of the Young Progressive Party YPP. The rest is now history. As a senator of the 9th Assembly, Senator Patrick Ifayuba was as usual sold out to the cause of a sustainable prosperous Anambra state from the get-go by his canny strategic synergy with like-minded stakeholders facilitates the empowering of his senatorial district with hospitals, road rehabilitation and construction, street lighting towards Operation Light Up and Secure Anambra State, acquisition of security gadgets flagged off by the state governor, Professor Chukuma Soludo. In Wagen Batalo Cheche and the eight local governments, the Kasaganaga, the seven local governments in the south, plus Obaru, and Agaga. Oga in a Mepu campaign, I heard you more, much of the south, a Mepura campaign. But I be anywhere, I will have an uncle. Even a Kaiba and a campaign, a by game, the right a venue, a by game, a campaign. The police, if you are no Kalil and the Biarali. Hey, to a Buddha's wedding. Was I make a campaign, Nagwata, Abba, I have a Globia. Stadium Kainaba, Ihiala, the mother of Papa Nasuga, whatever, but as I had the Murazi Hiala also. It to accord the local government by local government, in the south, plus Obaru. I will be done your ball goes you boy. It's either an eye back also for a well over though. On I face silver, well look over die. And we decide then I get face if an I get will take back our state. Oh, where if he get go to a bolo gadgets, bolo moto, bolo gadgets, or then die for tata. Tinya? Oh, when the binding and then I serve at the vigilante service. Now, my yanyas. Oh, for the name, even in a ditch, no kuha, makana in partnership, we will develop an Ambra state. No, I need a get do kunata corner where Megane, where does the Anambra? So, a bube to guzo, like I be a tata. We've come first of all to thank you, to commend you, congratulate you, because. If a street lighter, boom, a surveillance cameras, they over six, about 6,000 of them. 6,000. I get lay and all the 119 words. Now, Nambra South. A K walkie talk here. Each local government, they can thank you a bulu, some communities are laying with us up to ten, or the case may be. Oh, yeah, we find a kumakia. Then, Camel or Megane, or God.
represent the various progressive youth empowerment, skills acquisition and training projects is the massive provision of solar mobile phone charging machines, POS kiosks with power generators to enable youths in Anambra South Senatorial District be self-employed and be economically productive a potential disengagement from crimes and vices. <laughs> wonder like the wise political statement one good term deserves another senator ifayuba has been overwhelmingly re-elected by his well-meaning anambrarians for a second term to the 10th national assembly and thereby the sustainability of the far-reaching people-centered projects programs and gains typical of his extraordinary commitments Today, as an integral standard bearer of the relatively newer political party, Young Progressive Party, YPP, a charismatic team player with the party faithful and a man of and for his people, Senator Ifayuba has technically upscaled the goodwill and endearment of YPP to the electorate who have now preferred a YPP House of Representatives member, a senator and three a number of state House of Assembly members, two from Inewi South and one in Inewi North, to serve at various levels of the next governance dispensation for the collective best interests of Anambra State by extension Nigeria. By now, it is overwhelmingly convincing that Dr. Patrick Evayuba, beyond the divine providence to Anambra State, is raised and equipped to serve humanity by facilitating the experience of the good life in many ways. A proud ambassador of Indigo and Nigeria at large. Congratulations, you're a sin the glory of God. Congratulations, he has done it for you. And you will come back with a new song to sing. God is good. Yes, you will come again with a new song of praise. God Never be all that I see. I've seen that God is greater than that. Who can battle with the Lord? 